were connected to 9-11. Well, yes, well, well, security officers uh, from Kaiser Permanente, Santa Rosa, presenting Brian Alexander. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, I'm here to answer any questions that you might have. Well, tell us a little bit about your uh, earlier days. Well, um, when I first started off here at uh, Kaiser Permanente, I was incredibly happy to work with doctors and nurses, people who, uh, who help the community, and uh, they're, they're heroes. They save lives, and I'd like to be a part of that. And I figured, hey, uh, <laughs> it's much easier than running around in a cape and a mask, you know, trying to be a hero. I mean, I, you can only get so many restraining orders. Restraining artists. Well, you've had an interesting career there, Brian. I was about to say. Uh, you like the people you work with. Yes. What do you like about the job itself that you do? Well, uh, I do a lot of good, I feel, and that makes me feel great, and that makes me feel good. And I think that if I could continue this, that would be excellent. That's what I, that's how, that's what I feel. Yeah, I guess one of the, the perks is having uh, health care. How's that worked out for you? It was working good until recently. Oh, what happened? Uh, Kaiser Permanente has a... Uh, I'm trying to find the correct word. Uh, oh, uh, screwed us. Uh, you see... You had to bend over? Yeah, very oh. much so. I, 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 here's the situation. I have a lower lumbar back pain, and it hurts bad, and uh, really bad. And the doctor referred me to a pain specialist, and he said, there's something with your lower spine we got it from your x-ray. That x-ray, uh, of course, I was covered by my old insurance at the time, 20, uh, 40 bucks actually. That was, that was fine. I was fine with that. Then, uh, I was supposed to get the MRI. It would have cost me 20 or 40 bucks, like the x-ray. Now, $1,050. Are you sure you didn't misread the number? No, no. I, I went over and over and over and over again. Oh. Wow, did I go over that thing? Mm. And it, and they, I talked to them, and I I, I kind of uh, asked them um, kindly. Uh, there, there's a mistake here, and I can't afford this. And uh, well, how much of your monthly salary would that take to pay a thousand and fifty dollars? All of the first one and half of the second one. Two paychecks. Yeah, nearly two paychecks, and I gotta I gotta eat. I mean, I. Well, maybe not. Well, I, I, I've, I've done it enough, as you can tell, but still, I, wow, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Well, does that affect your goals in life at all? It does, greatly. Uh, I want to get my own place. If I have to pay for medical expenses and that extremely ridiculous amount of money just to get something that used to be 20 bucks, uh, there's no way I can get my own home. There's no way at all. No, none. I mean, the simplest of things are gone. Have you been dreaming about having your own home? Oh, yes. I, I, amongst other dreams I've had, mostly involving people who are very connected to the Playboy Mansion, it is very difficult to achieve anything nowadays without cash. And uh, if I'm trying to stay alive, uh, and, I, and that's going to take every penny I got. Well, who do you live with now? I live with my father. Ah. And uh, he helps me with my financial uh, uh, burdens, which is the reason why he's got the receding hairline, is because he's always going, what is wrong with this country? Mm. It's just, I, I, I don't get it. Okay. And, and what would you do with the money uh, that the MRI would cost you? That would go straight to uh, me getting my own place. Uh, most of my paycheck goes to trying to get my own home. So you would give up uh, one bedroom apartment yeah. to get your MRI? I've, uh, I've, uh, no, no, actually, no, I won't. I can't do, I can't do that. I, I don't know. If this MRI could help me stop hurting, which is, would be great. Well, you have a real dilemma. Very much so. No solution, I guess. Uh, I have, a, I have choices. Um, the financial aid thing which would be completely, which is, you know, if they find out how much money I have in my account, I won't be able, they won't, they won't insure me. But if I do pay for it, I have a choice of living in a nice uh, refrigerator box in an alley. 
Uh, or I can live with the pain and uh, try to get that apartment that I've always had my eye on. Any apartment will do at this point. I, I just, I need a place, I need to be my own person. Well, do you have anything to add to that? Or? Yes, I do actually. Uh, to anyone out there who's suffering uh, the same way I'm suffering right now, I'd like you to uh, understand that you're not alone. And I, I'm with you. Uh, we're, we're, we're all suffering. And we all have to do something about that. And pulling together and uh, fighting this is the best thing to do. And second, uh, to the people of Kaiser, um, and um, you know what you're doing right now after all the years of uh, um, service we've given you, uh, thanks for that. Uh, it's, uh, I'd like to ask for a couple of things. One, I'd like to have the simple insurance plan that showed that you were appreciative of our hard work and that we are in fact human beings with needs and and if I we can't have that I like to get a kiss because I always get a kiss when I'm being screwed it's tradition and uh, at least that's uh, that's all I'm asking well for. thank you Brian Alexander for your uh, candid comments it's no problem I I'm out there for everyone. Keep thriving, Brian. <laughs> Thank you. I try. <laughs>